my name is Jarrett Johnson and I started Lineage Coffee Roasting here in Orlando. I knew JD through um, kind of mutual connections and uh, he and I both shared a love for running and one time we went on a run together and I remember just talking with him and hearing his passion about I think some of the intricacies of the projects he was working on and I remember thinking like man this guy knows his stuff and when he was making my drink I was astonished at how much he cared even more than I thought and I went for a run with him one day and I said hey if you build a coffee shop I want to do it and about two years later he called me and he said we're doing it and we started right away and so I think from that point I kind of realized like he wasn't just a friend of mine he was like also an incredibly talented architect and um, somebody I really uh, wanted to work with because I felt that we were putting so much energy into the coffee that we were sourcing and roasting and he had that same passion for the projects he was working on and so it was like a perfect match to be able to work together and to be able to um, yeah, agree and see eye to eye on things. The core tenant of design for this space was to gather. And we put the bar in the middle instead of the cafeteria style bar that you see at every other coffee shop you've been to in your life and make it a space for people to gather around and interact with the staff to be able to get different types of drinks and relax and sit in different types of ways. From the moment we, we signed the lease, to be able to get this space. We knew we wanted to work with CARD and, um, and have JD's expertise and uh, to help us to figure out how it should flow and function, but also how we meet um, the requirements of the city and state and, and all of that. So it was, uh, we just sat down at our table and just kind of had a dream night and we were just like, I remember JD saying to us, what are those like golden cow ideas? What are those ideas that like you have to have? Jarrett and Justine really wanted to have a stained glass window, a solid color floor, local furniture, and a place for people to gather. And we took those four elements and we called them the sacred cows that couldn't be removed from the project. And we combined them into what you see here today. We, we just, we, we brainstormed and, and I remember JD was sitting there and he was drawing up ideas on, on the paper and we brought, we brought the, the plans and he's like, all right, so what if we did like this here? And, and then it was so cool to get to see that go from there, you know, his pencil on a paper to, you know, weeks later we're able to look at it and do a, a 3D fly through of the space and it's just like, wow, that's what it's gonna feel like. We knew we wanted a stained glass window and we looked for the perfect spot for it, which was between the prep area and the bar. And thankfully that was the biggest wall in the whole project. So we were able to do this massive 12 by 12 stained glass window. Having the stained glass be an active part of the space that's usable um, was Justine and she just kind of had this vision for um, adding life behind stained glass. Cause a lot of times you see stained glass at some old cathedral or whatever, but it's just like dull and dry because there's no movement behind it. It's just a picture. And so that was the idea is kind of moving glass. Working with Card was like working with a friend who is passionate as I am about seeing the perfect project come to life. And it was so cool to know that I had somebody in my corner that it wasn't like I was bugging somebody about, hey, is that gonna work right there? It was like, no, he was just as passionate about doing it as I was. And to have somebody that you know I knew was losing sleep over how perfect this project was going was incredible. That, that meant as much to me as them being so good at what they do.